Okay, yeah. darlings, I'll see you when you're finished here in town. I need to go and see a man about a... Ciao for now! See a man about a what? Or just what see came over him all of a sudden? Don Rodrigo lives in that grand old place over yonder. Let's go and say hello, shall we? Oh, and uh, don't go mentioning my royal past, will you? There's no point in causing a fuss. As far as he's concerned, I'm just his old pal Rab. Let's keep it that way, all right? All right, Granddad. Is there a quest giver on the map? We'll do that in a second. Hey, dude, I need to respect my hot nut sister. I need to rectify rectificator. Sorry. Jade. Cattle prod. Thunder thrust. Party pooper. You been It'd be really interesting to know if you can I mean they're probably good to have anyway. The strength. But if you could take those, buy that, then unspec out of those two. Multi-thrust. Oh, that's... And we've got the exact amount of points. Spears a group of enemies at random with a flurry of four jabs. Oh, that's perfect for metals, metal slimes, right? It's like it was meant to be. That's the exact amount of points she has when you get her. We go hit points and strength and then see what that is. What sort of gear does she want then? Need a spear. Spears. Make a battle fork. <clears throat> Not quite as good as her spear. All right, what if we rework her? Actually, we should see what the quest is because quite often the quest guys have given us um, uh, stuff. Uh, recipe books. Dude, you're still here? Hola. 
Hola, chico. You like bunny girls? See, I like bunny girls very much. No one in Algeria likes bunny girls as much as me. All right, Bora. I have loved them ever since I was a little boy. I saw bunny girls. So beautiful. I was obsessed with their force. I admit, I am completely local. Ah, uh, but sad truth, all the years passed since then, I've never seen another compared to my first bunny love. Or perhaps it's about to change, Chico, your amiga, your dark-haired lady friend. I think she'd like to make a most beautiful bunny girl. I agree. I, I think she would. Could you give a try? Could you prepare a bunny costume for her? Then I can persuade her to put it on. Yes. Yes, we can. Yeah, <laughs> muchas gracias, Chico. It is good to meet a young man who shares my passion for the bunny girls. Now I'm sure you know the beautiful bunny costume is made up of three essential elements. Bunny ears, a bunny suit, a pair of fishnet stockings. I think I sold the fishnets. Oops. I wait here while you assemble outfit. I cannot wait to see Chico. <laughs> Fantastic accepts the A Rush of Blood quest. The, re the rewards are garter as well, I know, right? No, I didn't sell the fishnets. I would have sold the fishnets, except the, um... Uh, the sale process is, like, insanely, um... Ridiculous uh, amount of clicks to try and sell something. Let alone sell two things or three things. Um, so what else do I need to make? Merge... <clears throat> Armour? Close. Where's the bunny hat? I'm going to have to probably buy them then, right? Tell me more about the quest. Oh. Actually, if I look at the... Tell me about the set. Are you a bunny girl? Apparently there's a puff puff girl. Near the casino. I mean, she's a bunny girl, but she's not a puff puff girl. for something a little petite. Oh, a lolly stick. Need a I get this store. Hmm. 
Mini metal exchange. I've got an album of medals. For each every mini metal I bring, we'll put a petite stamp in the album. When I've had enough stamps, be rewarded with prizes. Okay. Or something else. Hermes hat. No, 20 stamp. We get a rune staff. Okay. Um. Bunny is a bunny suit. Fishnet song. Okay. We got a casino. Okay. Slime slot machines. Ah, oh, you may not be of service. Puff puff? Puff puff? I have four tokens. Down the rabbit hole. Patterns on how to make a bunny suit. Lightning Lance for 75,000 tokens. The tokens are like 20 gold each. That looks like it'd be pretty good for Jade though. Uh, so what we need to do is um, win the jackpot, which means save scumming for monies. Is that what we're doing? I can't be bothered doing that, but I kind of think it's, is it necessary? Can I trade my tokens for money? <clears throat> Apparently not. It's a big damage up for everyone, like it's huge. The one the free snipe with the silver time? All right, we'll have one go one one go at one of those.
I'm not a like one go. Just a little bit of a flurry for you, Valkyrie. Oh no, Valkyrie might have spoken up and picked a winner. Or not. Oh, metal bird. Oh. Maybe the um, NPC that was sitting here actually got... Oh, metal mode? Maybe actually... Got, he put a lot of money in it. He was sitting on this one for a while. I'm hoping he didn't pull it back out. Okay. Oh, close to metal mode, Valk. Come on, king me, king me, king me, king me! Still, four kings, pretty good. Good pick, Valkyrie. What does that pay? 1500? Which I think was a little less than where we were when we <laughs> before we sat down. Four kings paid more than the five little ones, <laughs> but still. Oh, if only it had been on metal modes. Five chests, though. Not bad when we only we bought a hundred tokens when leaving with about twenty thousand, and we got the book to buy, make the bunny suit for Jade. Or Ronky, one of the two. On Eric. Metal mode? Oh, very close there. I don't think the metal mode's happening, Valkyrie. Not feeling it. What do you think? Not warm. Nah. I think maybe the dude that was sitting on it all day he just drained it. Maybe, maybe that's why he was sitting. Here. He wasn't pumping money, and he was pumping money out. And 
here we are refilling it for him. It was warm from the NPC's butt. Well, you don't sit on the machine. You sit on the chair. Good to see us. We look, walk around the casino everywhere looking for bonfire. Eventually we'll give up. We'll go outside and he'll be sitting on the curb waiting for us. We're like, well, what's wrong with you? And go, they kicked me out from rubbing my butt on the machine. Ooh, ooh, we getting a, getting a triple bar. <laughs> but that's Bonfire's streaming strategy. Gotta get them towards the only uh, only fan somehow. Check it if you got it, that's right. I got my, um, <laughs> on, a, for, on a, a separate topic, but for some reason popped in my head. I got the two PvP achievements um, for um, Deathloop after the stream yesterday. First one was easy. Um, you just have to use a, a power on Colt, which is fine because you just wait for him to show up to do the um, antenna, and then you just run out and do it on him, and he probably kills you because you're trying to do a, a stupid power on him. Um, but getting the kill was a lot harder because you've got to kill him three times, uh, and twice I had uh, one kill on him. And then he'd already gotten the antenna in both of them. I got a kill. And then he just legs it for the door. He didn't... Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, man. Because also you don't know where it rewinds him to. Um, and one of, them didn't, one of them didn't come back for his body. He obviously didn't care about the Residium. He's just like, no, nah, he just left. So obviously he was in the point of the game where he just wanted to progress the story. And then the other one came back and um, was going for his body and I like attacked him again. And he bailed. And then I was chasing him and I uh, got a couple hits in, but not enough. Metal mode? Um, and he just made it to the tunnels. And once they make it to the tunnels, there's nothing you can do. Hey, Annie Shark. Yeah, we're just about to leave. Let's just have a nice chill time. We were seeing if we can get metal mode up on, on one of these machines one more time, but I don't think it's happening. We did get up to, well, we got over 20,000 tokens at one point. A little bit lower than that now. But yeah, I eventually got it on a mission where it was the night mission and he had all three of the um, people going to the party. I'm like, well, he's going for the party kills. So I just hung around and then kicked him off the, <laughs> off the cliff repeatedly. Where did I start it? I bought 100 tokens.
Hey. It's like, what, 1500? Yeah. So it's kind of hanging around that spot. It's not really going up, not really going down. Without the metal mode and free spins, it really chews into the, like, chews out the money and then you get it back. Or get, almost get it back. Please spin it. Spin the middle wheel again. I really should put a hard limit on it, but it's too easy just to click the button and go, yeah, I'll spin again. Go. Just pull the forge out right here. How much am I down? I'm not. I, I bought a hundred tokens when we walked in. I've got 20,000 tokens now. You can't cash out though. They're like the tokens um, in um, video game machines. You can only use them to buy prizes. <laughs> the big fluffy teddy bear. No, I want the bunny suit for Jade. Bunny suit ears plus two. I mean, that's actually going to be an upgrade for her. Let's 
what I... You can put on two pairs of fishnet stockings. I don't want them. Don't want them. What's wrong, Valkyrie? Transformation complete. Has your friend transformed to a beautiful bunny girl? Man, Brienne. And all the men's for to oblige an old man and put the costume on. My dear, you're so very beautiful. You look every bit as marvelous as the first bunny girl I ever saw. Even more marvelosa. In fact, see, si, Chica, you're the most beautiful bunny girl the world has ever seen. But everyone can carry the bunny girl outfit, you know. Requires a certain something. Or a certain two things. And you have it in spades. You agree, C Tico? You also know that your friend makes a perfect bunny girl. Oof. Jade says Cole the old man, sighs deeply, and walks off. <laughs> Angry bunnies are even more adorable. Je, je, je. I must thank you for your efforts, Chico. Take this poor favor. We received a garter. Jade doesn't seem to be too happy that we did. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we didn't do it for us. We did it so Jade could have a guard up, I guess. Yep. Speak with Don Rodrigo, he found the most massive mansion in Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Valla. Oh, that's going to be over there, yep. This is the villa of Don Rodrigo. Yep, we can go, as long as we don't cause any trouble. All right, Valkyrie. Thanks for hanging out, man. Have a good one, dude. Senor Roberto, so wonderful to see you after so many years. And your companions... Jade's going to show up in the cutscenes like that now. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, senor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He is instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, now that's a shame. I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and... fighting. <laughs> Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go on board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, would ye? Hmm. 
Is that ship? Board the salty sal stallion and sailed down the Valor Channel. The Valor Sauvage Channel from Porto Valor. Where is it though? Where's Dave? Dave! Oh, hello. I'm a dancer here in Port Vala. Seen the guitarist on the bridge? Accompanies me as I dance on the beach. Come watch, I promise I will charm you. You will fall in love with Port Vala. You will never want to leave. Yeah, yeah. Dave, where's the boat? Maybe this guy will tell me where the boat is. What's the boat's over here? Oh. Board your ship be ready to set. Your ship is currently anchored in Costa Valla. Oh, okay. We need a call boat spell. the slime. Let's keep at it. <sighs> Is it my turn? Wait, 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 wait. You don't do whatever you want to do. We win again. The knight's still attached to it. Actually, do that. Oh man, I didn't realize that's where, <laughs> where I would have come out. I was actually closer to the <laughs> zoom, took me further away to where my boat was. Dave would be burnt. Absolutely burnt to a crisp by now.
There's our pal Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Why is Silvando hiding? Mother Mia, is it him? What did you do, Silvando? I'll do yonder. Thunder thrust or multi thrust? Let's have a look at the thunder thrust first. What a miss. I just keep getting better. Hang on. Where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hmm. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't <laughs> like it. Staring hard a starboard. Uh, hmm. oh, the mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. Where in the world are we? I don't look good. Sneeze also blew my face off. A oh, mini metal. Hey, Jade. <laughs> what a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. <gasps> oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai. I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh, ah, oh. <sighs> us like that and there's no need to look so disappointed to see us oh valkyrie's gonna be upset he went to bed early to catch me in a net. You're different from most other human beings that I've met. Human beings? My name's Michelle. 
I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright, it... It's just I thought my car was back, and I got all excited. Wow, I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. But anyway, who's this car you keep talking about? He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. Oh. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, In that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. <laughs> and so I got the blessing of the queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. Oh, that's wonderful news. I don't know what's worse, the rhymes or the accent. <laughs> He's supposed to meet me. Well, that here, rash, so it looks like she's got together. under a tail. Now I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea, where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder... Aha! How about this? If we go and check on your fiancé, will you take us down to see the Queen? To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. <laughs> Wait, sink the ship. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the queen of the sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Yes. Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you. If you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto. A beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smouldering emotion. <sighs> oh. oh, now I'm all embarrassed. <laughs> Don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> okay, so we need to go to the grotto south of Hotto. So I wonder if we get there from Hotto or if we sail from somewhere else. Oh, it's, well, hmm. Interesting. Board the Salty Stone and set sail east for the village. Okay, so... Right, we go around the world. Makes sense. Ah, I had a word with that, Michelle, lovely girl. You ain't gonna believe this. She's only gone and used her mermaid powers to get Stallion moving again. You can leave when you're ready. Watch your boss back aboard Stallion, is it?
I think they said go east. Ah, that's alright. We'll see if we go. See what happens when we get off the map. You got pizza bonfire, nice. I'm hoping this clicks us off the world and round to the other side. Chiller. Multi thrust. Really poor on the line. I'm starting to think that you don't, you can't um, sail around the world. Oh, you can. Good. I was getting worried there. It wasn't looking like it for a while. There's this little bit of extra ocean off the map. Want some? Multi-thrust is a Dad, lot of damage. Yeah, everyone gets XP.
Oh, I got excited. I saw a well. It's boarded up. That's just rude. Like paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> Ooh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Puff puff. Up to learn Lulu. She said paradise of crystal waters and perfect pearls. We hope you enjoy your stay. Looking for Kai, I didn't know my boy had any friends. Uh, he's not my friend. Should go see his ma. You usually find her up at church. During the day, anyhow. As soon as the sun sets, she runs home and refuses to come out to the light again. They're kind of a weird family. Okay. Loot. 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 Oh, this one. Cheeky, cheeky hiding spot. Okay, nice. No, when there's no doors, so you don't have to open anything, you just run in and Wait, they've got no. Oh, when they've got no loot, doesn't matter. have any loot. Oh, book. <laughs> My first pearly pieces. We learned how to make a pink pearl ring and some rosaries. We can't give Jade a pearl necklace yet. Game says no. Help myself to your stuff. 
Building a blade of blistering something or other. Uh, it's a um, regular sword. attempt to I think off stream to sell all the stuff I don't need to um, that I don't need to have but not for the gold but just for swapping items around it makes it easier when you've got less in the inventory but man selling items is so painful Here. Mm -hmm. I got a mini metal. Got a mini metal. I thought that was, I saw the red and the circle there. I'm like, oh, is that the symbol that's on the red doors? It's, I don't think it is. But... Arrow foil earrings. Kitty. About mermaids dragging men down to the bottom of the ocean to drown them and have their way with them. Totally worth it. Would recommend. called Dave Legend. I wonder if that's the, um, hey, that's, that's that Dave. With the help of a mysterious traveling entertainer friend. He managed to say he paints all the uh, masks pink. That's, that's a story about Dave. <clears throat> that's hilarious. Way to go, Dave. Pearl. 
Is there an achievement for Smash Barrel and Pots? I hope so. I'm on my way to it. I'm not suspicious. Um, it's more for the crafting items. When you've got enough money, which we pretty much do, um, you can just purchase the crafting items um, without having to go to a vendor, which is great. Hey, little dude. Oh. But if you do that all the time, you'd end up being broke. <laughs> look, look! Auntie's here! The show's about to begin! <laughs> Are you all paying attention? No. Good. I'm hungry. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married, and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear, I will give you your life if you give me your soul. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiancée aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her! The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. Hmm. She must be a ginger. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Ooh, the mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! <laughs> Aloha!
are friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, Kainui. Are you friends of his? I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ships. Hmm. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. Okay. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all blue. Closer to the tail, a little mermaid than the I'd Disney hate version. to see you go crazy. Yeah. But hers had no song and dance. Do 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 do. I mean, that's very important. Oh. I wonder if I rest overnight, if I can hear the rest of her story, because she did say she'd tell it tomorrow. But I have a feeling she's lying. She looks like a lying old NPC. Fire the cannon. I love the sound of cannons in the morning. <laughs> but it'd be like in Monkey Island where we sink your own ship. Yeah, that's right. Everyone's waiting for the player character. Found a chunk of thick incense. Oh, another one of these doors. Sail west from Lunalulu. Help the villagers. How far west? Stallion. I could have swar I could have gone around the outside. Around the outside, do, 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 do. instead of across the world, and hit those little ports all the way along the way, and done stuff at islands. I wonder if I should have done that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting theory. This dude's gonna be big, right? I think I should. Because there's one down on... So, which one's the strand? Strand's at the tip where it comes out there. We can go south to that one. And then back, zoom back up. <clears throat> also, I'm kind of curious about something with that one in the middle there. Then up to that island, then up to those forks, then around the top, then that one. What's oh, there, though? Yeah, let's do it. It's La Incognita. Mm -hmm. People on this island? There's, there's one locked thing here. Interesting. I know our silver also really good. Oh, the big dudes. Come here, big dude. Let's go. Not enough. Oh, man. Ha! <laughs> 
Jade, if you would like to level up here, I'd be totally okay with that. We win again. Uh, items. What's a thing? Moon, moon, moon stuff? Holy water? Magic water? There you go. Crafting comforting clothing. Learn to make robes of serenity. Oh, look at these big dudes. Let's go. Alright, let's um defense down him. I thought he was going to have heaps of good points. Big chunk of experience though. Chunk of gold ore. If you want to level up any time, oh. Who's got a key? Have you got the key? Let's do this.
The Cyclops flees, but an enemy blocks away. Okay. Silvano levels. No, I need Jade to level. Cyclops doesn't have key. It's quicker to zoom back to there. Reasonable. Night, Annie Shark. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate it. 